Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and I don't remember what this episode number is because it's been a while. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. <laughs> it's been a while. I think it's been two weeks since I filmed a No Catchy Name episode, and I think the last video I uploaded was a Veda, and I failed horribly at Veda. I had good intentions for it, and then I just ended up, it ended up being so busy that I forgot to actually film anything, <laughs> hardly. My hair looks crazy. We went on a hike earlier, and it's still windblown and sweaty yellow hair, so just try to not worry about it. There's a bunch of junk back there because I've been cleaning out. I'm in Jesse's bedroom right now. And I've been cleaning out all uh, the closets and stuff. And that's donate stuff and a pile of bags that I sold yesterday. Oh, I just punched the <laughs> table. But anyways, I'm going to hop on to it. Um, I got some stuff to show you. And I also got some like stuff to talk about at the end. This might be a long video just from the chatty part. But the reason the video was late. Um, most of you already know this. But I mean, Devin got married on April 27th. We had our wedding. And then, uh, there's my ring. I got a little thin ring. I always love those thin ones, and this is just a white gold one because I didn't want anything flashy. I'm not like a flashy, fancy person. Ah, I hit the table again. <laughs> but um, we got married on the 27th of April, and then the next day after that was Jesse's birthday party at a park. It was a lot of fun. And I'll probably share some videos or pictures or something later um, for those if you're interested. I know a lot of people like seeing our lives, you know. It's, we're all friends, so it's kind of fun to like see clips of each other's lives. But, um, and then Jesse's actual birthday was May 1st, which was Wednesday last week. And then today I'm filming on Sunday, the 5th of May. And Tuesday is my birthday. <laughs> I will be 29 on the 7th. And then the next weekend, I think, is Mother's Day, the next Sunday. I can't remember what day that is. Let me look on my, uh, not my phone, my computer real quick. The 12th. Yeah, that would have been my granny's birthday, my mom's mom who passed away. Her birthday used to fall on Mother's Day all the time, and um, it's the 12th, but anyways. So yeah, I got married. I am officially a Roberts now, <laughs> um, so I've been slowly trying to change my name on everything and uh, getting it from Gunter to Roberts, and I actually have to go tomorrow to like legally change my name at the Social Security office, and then I gotta get a new driver's license and a bank card and all that kind of stuff, <laughs> but um, that'll come in time, I guess. But yeah, so I do have some finished objects. Um, I got four. I, I can't really remember what I've all been working on the last couple weeks because there's been so much other stuff going on that I haven't really been crocheting a whole lot. But I do have some finished objects to share with you. And I've got, I got technically three whips, but they're all the same thing. I'm just making them piece at a time so I can get all of them done at once-ish. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm going to show you my finished objects and my whips and then a lot of chat probably so um if you're all interested in the crochet part it'll only be a few minutes probably and then the rest of it will be some crochet stuff because i'll be talking about the crochet along and some stuff like that but then i'll be talking about um life <laughs> so yeah so i got finished objects let me see which one's first uh oh i forgot to get information about one of them let me go do that real fast Okay, I'm back. I had to grab a patterns um, links because I forgot to write it down. And I got me some juice. It's water, but with a peck in it. I think it's watermelon, strawberry, or something like that. It's really tasty. I'm trying to drink more water, and that helps uh, if it's flavored. <laughs> okay. First um, finished object is, I think, this one. Now, they are finished, but I didn't weave in the last end on both of these squares. Because I, I crochet over the first end, and then the last one I just have to weave in, and I just haven't done that yet. I'll do that eventually. <laughs> Alright, these are the, the first one is the, I think the seventh square in the Unraveled Mittens um, yearly scrap graph, scrap afghan thing. <laughs> Everybody's like doing it. And now I will have to say something. In my last video, I had a conversation with Deet, and um... I think that's how you say her name. We, she was trying to help me because I was messing mine up horribly. And I finally figured out what I was doing wrong. And I felt so, I kind of felt bad afterwards because I was like, oh, she was trying to help me and I was still doing it wrong. But what I was doing is I was doing the stitches and all that exactly right, except I was working in front of the chain, the chain space instead of working over the chain space. So once I figured that out, <laughs> mine became flat like everybody else's and, uh, 
worked up perfectly and it was a lot easier than what I was trying to do. With that being said, I still don't like this stitch that much and I prob probably won't ever use it again. And I've seen some people do this this one uh, with multiple colors and it looks better with multiple colors, I think. Because it kind of blends in with um, solid color like I used. But it's still a really pretty stitch and when you look at it, you know, it's really textured and pretty. But the seventh one is the Granny Spike Stitch Square by the Unraveled Mitten. And these are all free patterns. I think she does have it to where you can buy the PDF version of all of them together when they all come out later this year um, for some money but it's just like the ad free one but if you want any of the square patterns for free they're on her website and I'll link that below but here is my seventh one it's bright yellow the lighting in here is horrible because the windows back there and the lighting above is like that orange lighting <laughs> but um there's the stitching it's I think it's really pretty it's just it was annoying and I would probably never do it again but this is uh, Red Heart Super Saver I think it's called bright yellow I'm trying to keep all of my yarns for this project Red Heart Super Saver and in brighter colors. And it doesn't really matter if I make two yellows in a row because when I get done and I'm ready to piece them together, they're not going to be in order of when they came out. They're going to be, you know, I can move them around to put the colors wherever I want them. So I'm making some solid squares and some with multiple colors and stuff. But I liked, you know, it's pretty. I just probably won't ever use it again. But that was the seventh one and I just have that one in to weave in the last in. And then the next one, try to find somewhere to throw that. I love this one. One, I made it in pink, and I love pink. Two, I did the stitching was just fine. It's got like, I think it was bobble stitches or something like that. It's been a week since I've done it. And I just, I really like the way they're kind of facing different directions and they're off centered from each other just a little bit. And I don't know, I just, I really enjoyed this one. I love bobble stitches or any kind of stitch that sticks out like that. And it's got the little holes in it. It's just, I like it. And this one is called, what is this one called? Tiny Flower Square by the Unraveled Mitten. I don't guess it has a front. But the flowers are what is bubbled a little bit. And I actually made my bubble stitches bigger than her pattern called for. Because I wanted them to be a little bit more bubbly. <laughs> but I love this one. And this is in like hot pink or shocking pink or something like that. I can't remember. But I really like this one. This would be cute I think for like a cover up. Like a bathing suit cover up or something. Because it's... Uh, fabric but it's got the holes in it so it's you can see through it but not like everything I like this one a lot so that one and again I'll just have that one <laughs> and to um weave in all right what's my next this next finished object was so funny because I actually disappointed Devin with this one one night we talk every night when he's at work um on his breaks he messages me and we talk the whole time that he's on break and um I get the night that I made this one uh he I told him that I was making a pie, and he thought that I was making a pie, like a, a pie you eat, but it was a crochet pie. And I said, I'm making a little pie, and when he got home, he's like, man, I was so disappointed, I thought you were making a pie. And I was like, I don't even know how to make pies, but, um, and <laughs> I don't even have stuff to make a pie with. But it was a little crochet pie, because I am doing a, um, craft fair this October. It's October 12th, which is a Saturday. I already paid my fee, and I already got my receipt in the mail, so I'm excited about that. I got, I think, five months. I calculated it up the other day to work on all kinds of amigurumis because I'm going to take just amigurumis for my booth. Um, it's a craft fair. I talked about it in my last video, I think. Um, to raise money, like all the booth entry fees go towards the foundation and it's called the Paisley Foundation and it raises money for families who are going through um, a SIDS death, which is sudden infant death syndrome. And they help, you know, the families out during that time. Uh, their daughter Paisley actually died uh, when she was really little and she just, she would have turned six like a week ago they they had a birthday thing on their facebook page about it but um so my fee for that goes to that foundation and then any money i make at the booth is mine obviously and then each booth they ask um for each booth to donate one of their items to be auctioned off and then that's how they make more money plus you know they they get donations and i'm sure there'll be food booths and stuff set up that people can you know so they can make extra money but um so i'm going to try to make a big amigurumi for that and I was, I'm going to try to make like a butterfly because um, they use butterflies a lot in their um, advertising and stuff. I guess their daughter liked them or something. But I'm going to try to make some kind of big amigurumi too so they can auction it off. But anyways, all that to say, this pie is for that. <laughs> and I made this one and I'm planning on making more. Uh, it's a little pumpkin pie because it's in October and you know, October is right before November which is 
pumpkin pie season. <laughs> so I thought this was just so cute. It's just a little pumpkin pie. And it's got like a little dollop of um, whipped cream on top of there. And the original pattern uh, is called Squeeze and Sniff Pumpkin Pie by Crafty is Cool. It's a free pattern and it'll be linked below. And the original pattern, they put like a little packet of um, pumpkin spice flavor scent <laughs> in there so that it's, you know, smells. I didn't want to do that because if kids get it or if a parent needs to wash it or something, I didn't want that to either bleed through or get, you know, moldy, I don't know, bugs or something. I don't know. I just didn't want to do that. <laughs> so it's just got stuffing in it. And I think the original pattern has you put some plastic canvas down here, but I just stuffed it in a way that it still sits up. But yeah, I think it's cute. It made it, this works up super duper quick. You make the gray part uh, as one piece, and then the orange and this buff color is one piece, and then the dollop is a different piece. And then you just sew uh, them together with the pie crust hanging off the side and put the, the dollop on there. Super easy, just a little bit of stuffing in there. You could even put like a little face on it if you were gonna make amigurumis with the little faces that a lot of people do. I do that sometimes, but a lot of times I don't because if a little girl or boy wants this in their little toy kitchen, you know, they might want it without a face. But um, yeah, I just thought these would do decent because it'll be really close to Thanksgiving season. Uh, it'll be the middle of October, so. I'm gonna make some Thanksgiving-y themed things and some Halloween-y, <laughs> Halloween-ish things. And then, uh, probably not any Christmas thing, because it's a little early for Christmas. But then I'm just going to have a lot of general um, amigurumis. So, yeah. But I thought this was so cute and super fast. Let's see here. My last finished object. I keep forgetting where to throw these. This was another test. Oops, I just hit some. Test project uh, for Mich Michelle Estrada. And she she's the one that wrote the pattern for the cute pig pillow that I made uh a while ago <laughs> and so she uh, messaged me again and uh, a while ago <laughs> it was before the wedding but i got so busy with the wedding that's why it's so late plus the video is so late actually we started this before the wedding and then i the monday after the wedding is when i finished it the 30th of april i think um it is her new pattern she, it's already released she's got two of them actually one has feet and one doesn't have feet i did the one with feet because they're cute <laughs> But here it is. And also, I'll, I'll talk about it in a second. But here it is. It's Caterpillar. <laughs> and the only thing I haven't done yet is his little mouth. I keep forgetting to stitch his mouth on there. But this is his body and his little feet. They're bobble stitches. Super cute. And you could really make it as long as you wanted. You could just keep doing the pattern. You know, extend it out if you wanted to make a really long Caterpillar. But I think it's super duper cute. <laughs> Alright, so the different things about this pattern. One ish, um, she had it wrote with worsted weight yarn and an H hook. The first time I did one of her patterns with worsted weight yarn and an H hook, I messed it up horribly because I was, my tension's way different than hers. And uh, it had a lot of holes in it. That was the frog, the baby frog. And so the next pattern I made with hers, the pig, I ended up doubling up the yarn I was using because it's, it was a red heart yarn, but it's like way thinner than the normal red heart. Like some of them are, a lot of the grays are way thinner, but it was a pink. I think it was perfect pink or something like that. But, um, so I doubled it up with the H hook, I think, and it worked out fine. And this one, I used worsted weight yarn. This is all Red Heart Super Saver. I don't know the colors. <laughs> this is light blue, and I think this is, like, um, some kind of flower name. And this one I've never seen. This was actually gifted to me. It feels like Red Heart. I'm not 100% sure if it is, but it feels like Red Heart. Um, I don't know what I was saying. Oh, yeah, I used an elf hook or a G. I use G hook. <laughs> so I did go down one hook size. Um, I normally, for my amigurumi, I always use F hooks to get the stitches tight and all that. But um, I didn't want to use F hook for this because I didn't want it to be super smaller than hers. But it is probably a smidge smaller than hers. Because I crochet tight. So I need a smaller hook so that there's not big holes with stuff and showing through. But I love the little feet. I have been seeing more patterns pop up with these bobble stitches as accents to the patterns. With it either being like their little thumbs or feet and stuff. And I think that's really cool to actually put stitches in there so that you don't have to sew on little tiny bits. And I'm looking forward to hopefully more people doing that. And then it's got little cheeks and safety eyes. I did kind of mess up the cheeks, but I'm not, I'm not worried about it. And then the antenna. She has the pattern written to where you do it two different colors. But I just went ahead and did purple because I wanted to add more purple. Because he only got that one ball of purple. <laughs> and I wanted more purple in there. Purple, purple, purple. But yeah, I love this pattern. I love all her patterns. All three of them that I've made so far are just awesome. And I do want to make some more of these for the fair. 
hopefully and I wanted to use different color schemes and maybe some just variegated yarn with solid accent for the antenna eye or something and um, you could even like I was thinking about it, you could even you know make two of the the because this is one solid piece this whole part down here is one solid piece and then the head is separate the antenna are separate and the cheeks are separate but you could make it like two long and then close it off and put up like one ball like right here and then make two more long so it would look like it had you know like you know how worms like bubble up and they move <laughs> you could do that and then do that again you make a really long one with little wiggles on it and then put the head at the end i thought that would be cute that's what i was thinking when i was making it. i was like you could make it squealy or whatever i don't know what i'm trying to say <laughs> hopefully you guys get what i'm trying to say but yeah, I love this pattern, and I messaged her finally the other day because I completely forgot I had it done. Jesse was playing with it, and I just, you know, I just forgot with everything going on. And then I seen it laying in. I have a box, a little Tupperware box, that uh, when I collect things around the house, I throw it in there, and then eventually I grab that box and then go put stuff where they go. It's like a collect all box, and this was in it, and I don't remember putting it in there. I guess Jesse did. And I was like, oh my god, I never messaged her. So I went and messaged her real fast. And she was real nice about it. She understood because of the wedding and Jesse's birthday and all this stuff going on. That, um, so she wasn't mad at me or anything. But she said that she's working on her new pattern. Or she just went to take pictures of it. So I can't wait to see what it is. And um, if I don't test it, I'm probably going to buy it. Because I love her patterns. I already talked about that in my last video. How much I love her patterns. And I love Amigurumi. So Amigurumi designers are usually the people that I follow. Like Mary Smith and Heidi Yates and all that. I just love that kind of stuff. So this is just my favorite kind of stuff to crochet. And she makes adorable patterns. So definitely check her out. So I will have this pattern links below. And like I said, there's two versions. So there's the ones with the little feet and the ones without the little feet. So you can buy either one. And I think she said she's going to make it to where people can buy both of them together if they wanted to. I'm not sure. But I'm also going to link her Instagram below because she posts a lot on it and all the cute things that she makes. So if you own Instagram and you want another person to follow, I will link it below too so you can check her Instagram out. But he's so cute. I love him. But I'm going to go ahead and take him to the fair after I put his mouth in there and make some more. Hopefully. Okay, that is all of my finished objects. I only have three whips and they're the same thing like I said. I was working on these yesterday. I hadn't crocheted in like a week up until like the week of the wedding I don't think I crocheted much at all and then that Monday is when I finished that um caterpillar and then yeah the rest of the time I haven't crocheted because I've just been so busy with wedding and birthday stuff and then the cleanup of all that and then all the name change stuff and just all that kind of stuff going on and so things are finally starting to like calm back down to normal and so I'm getting back into my routine of crocheting and sewing and all that stuff and hopefully filming. So my my whips are the pies. I went ahead and made three more another one. Um pie tins. <laughs> and I got three more of the tops. So for these ones all I gotta do is make the um the whipped cream and sew them all together and stuff them. And these three will be done. And I think I might make a few more. My goal is to have like at least three of each thing that I take in case someone has multiple kids or multiple people come by, you know, want things. I don't want to go too crazy making like 50 of these in case no one wants them. But I'm like anywhere from three to five of everything uh, I'm going to take. Except those little octopuses that people make. I already got like 15 of those so I'll go ahead and take all of them. But I want to have a bunch of little stuff like this that is on the cheaper end of the scale. So that if kids are walking around and want something, you know, their parents, if they have four kids, they wouldn't mind shelling out, you know, $5 for four little toys as opposed to $50 per bigger emigrammy. So, um, I want to have a bunch of little stuff, a few medium things, and probably a couple bigger things. That's the plan at least, I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm also working on fair related items. And actually, i got to get a lot of cotton yarn for the fair, the county fair. Because, um... Uh, I gotta make some dishcloths and some pot holders and stuff like that and I need to make it with cotton because they need some of them they have two categories of each decorative and serviceable which means usable so I need to have them made out of cotton so that they seem more usable <laughs> that's the idea but yeah so that's my pass all right that is all my finished objects and my whips I'm sorry I keep feeling like my hair looks horrible but I exercise so it's all good <laughs> but um 
I do have a few other things to talk about. I don't want to make this video super long because I got some, some more stuff to do today. <laughs> but, um, one is, I got some acquisitions. Let me, oh, I forgot some of them. Let me go grab them. Hi. Right. Acquisitions. <laughs> I had to run and get my cards. I had them in a stack. But I did get some Easter cards, and I know that was a while ago, but again, I haven't filmed in forever. So I wanted to share the Easter cards, and I got a wedding card and a birthday gift. Alright, Easter cards. <laughs> I can't remember. I think this one came first. This one's from Becky at Funny Farm. Um, crochet <laughs> I love this I'm keeping I keep all my cards but um I want to make something out of this maybe frame it and like Billy did recently because this is like a five by seven in it maybe kind of looks five by seven ish so uh, it would be cute for like a decoration for Easter because it just says happy Easter so but yeah it's from Becky I love cards I'm so excited when I see them all right I think then I got this one next this is a handmade one this is from Carrie Carrie Penny, which I think is the Happy Crafty Homemaker. I'm sorry. <laughs> I always forget everybody's um, channel names because there's so many. Of, I'm getting all kinds of messages. My mom's in a group chat with me and my siblings, and they're, they're talking. <laughs> if, you, if you keep seeing me look up, that's what it is. But I'm not in the conversation, so I'm not talking. But this is from Carrie. This is homemade. I was so happy to get one of her homemade cards because I think for Halloween she homemade some, but she only homemade a few. And um, then she sent out regular, like, store-bought ones. And I got one of store bought ones and I was like, oh, I wanted a homemade one. And then I got a homemade Easter one. So I was happy about that. And it's super cute. It just says, here comes Peter Cottontail right down the bunny trail. And it's got like chocolate bunnies and these little dot things. I love these. I have some of these for when I plan and stuff. And then it's just got Easter stamps on the inside. And she just said, Carrie, you know, she signed it. Happy Easter, Carrie Penny. Happy Crafty Homemaker right there. It was in there. And then the last Easter card I got is from Anna Stone. And her channel is ACS Creations 1. It's on there, so I'll write it <laughs> instead of trying to remember. But it's also really cute. What does it say again? I know what that was. Someone just fell out in the kitchen. I know exactly what it was. I gotta go pick it up in a minute. But it says, Easter is warm memories and happy surprises. And it's just a really pretty card. But um, I love keeping, I keep everything anyone sends me. So that was my Easter cards. And then I got a wedding congratulation card. I don't know what that's called. From Cindy Kinney. So I'll just show you guys the front of it. And I'm not going to read it because it's really long and I stink at reading out loud. But it is really pretty. And I will keep this forever too. <laughs> and it had a gift in it. And thank you, Cindy. There are thank you cards going out in the mail this next week for everybody who sent gifts for the wedding or birthday or whatever. And then I got a birthday gift from Becky again. <laughs> Becky from Freddy Farm Crochet. Now, I got a P.O. box, so when I get a package sent to me, it alerts me on there. And it said that I got a package coming from Etsy. And I was like, Etsy? I was like, I didn't order anything. What did I order? I thought maybe I accidentally ordered something. Or somehow had like a reoccurring order from one of the places that I ordered something from. And it ended up being a birthday gift. And it was from Becky, like I said. And she got me something I've been wanting for a while. I gotta message my mom in a minute. She just asked me a question. But uh, I'll finish this real fast. Um, she sent me a yarn bowl. And this is a handcrafted one. I got his information, but it's on a card in the living room. I'll have to, I'll try to remember to link it below. But he makes yarn bowls and all kinds of pottery related things. Oh, she just tagged me. I love the way the inside looks because it's swirly. And like I said, it's handcrafted. He's got these little pads on there so that it will sit without sliding around. And I haven't, I just hit the thing. I haven't used it yet because all the projects I've been working on have been from big O skeins of yarn but I do have some projects that I will be working on with balls and I'll be able to use my uh yarn ball and until then I'm just looking at it and loving on it because it's so pretty and maybe I still have when I opened it because when I got it it was like a little square box and I was like what is this I have no idea what this is and then um and it just had the company name on it so when I opened it it had a paper in there that had like he had written out a note or whatever uh, and it was a happy birthday from Becky at Freddie Farm but it is so pretty. I love handcrafted pottery stuff. We have a store here in our town called the Fragrant Mushroom. And it's full of stuff like this. They make mugs. I have a mug. I won one. If you watched me last year. I think it was last year. I might have been here before that. I won like a Predators themed. Which is a hockey team. Uh, big mug. 
from them and all of that <laughs> but they have plates and stuff and that's one thing that I want to get when we get a house and we have an actual dining room I want to slowly get a set of plates from them and like bowls and cups and stuff and I want them to be all mixed matchy because I don't want them to match I want them to be all different colors uh, but they're kind of costly you know because I mean it's what they're valuable they're not they're not expensive they're valuable because people make these with their hands <laughs> and like a machine and it you know it spins and they mold it so um i understand that it's valuable so i want to like get a plate and then you know get another plate get another plate and have it all mixed matchy and i also want one of the spoon rests that you put on your stove so when you're cooking you just set it on there i need one of those anyways because right now I, I use like a plate or a lid or something but they make pottery ones and this guy that has a shop actually has some and I want to get one of those because they glaze it so it's easy to clean and uh yeah but this is it and I love it so thank you Becky <laughs> for this it's beautiful and I don't know why this does this right here but I like the way it kind of juts down it's like a line but then it kind of squiggles and juts down it's just cool but yeah so that's all my acquisitions that are you know from crafty people or crafty related I'm sure I have other things that I bought the last few weeks that um, just aren't crochet, but I gotta check that message real fast for my mom and then I will be right back. All right, I'm back again. <laughs> had to message my mom real fast. She asked me a question and I had to answer her because she's my mom. <laughs> but like I said, I got some bags back here that I'm working on. I was hoping to get them done this weekend and get them up Monday, but we've been busy this weekend. I sold on some yesterday and I'm gonna be selling on some more here in a few minutes when I get done um, filming, but so they probably won't be in the shop. I'm hope now I'm hoping for Tuesday because <laughs> I got to finish the project bags. I've got ten and a half project bags to finish, and then I got twenty notion zipper bags to make, and then I will be making some more crab bags, but it won't be in with these bags. These ones I'm gonna finish and put put on the shop, and then I'll make crab bags later this week and put them in the shop whenever they're done. They're really fast to make though. I can make them. I already got them cut. I just have to put the interfacing on them and then sew them all together. Um, the same with these. I already have all these bags cut. I just haven't got some sewn together. But I'll go ahead and show you a couple of them just so you know what's coming. These ones are done. I got two of these blue. You can't see it super good because the lighting in here. That's pretty good right there. And they actually have different colors of the same print. And it's real pretty. It's kind of like marbly almost. I don't know. I just thought it was pretty and it's blue. I do have some more of the cat material bags. I think I got four. One's just not sold yet. There's three of them. Because I had to buy some to make some bags from a personal order. Like someone local to me ordered um, cat bag. So I bought some. <laughs> and I had extra so I just made more. And then the ever popular teapots. <laughs> there will be four sets of these. So if you missed it last time. There will be four sets of teapot bags. Hopefully Tuesday. Those are all the ones I got done right now, <laughs> but I will, um, let me get the other material and I'll show you guys real fast. This is the outside of a bag. I haven't got the liner in it yet. I love this print, but it's like black and white with pink roses and, well, they're not really roses. It's more like peonies. I think those are peonies and I don't know what that is, but they're pretty. <laughs> I love that print. I would actually keep that if I had, um, you know, if I wasn't trying to sell them. And then this other one I think is really cool. I love, I love this one. I love anything colorful. This kind of makes me think of Anna. <laughs> From Adventures with Anna. Because stuff like this, tie-dyed bright stuff reminds me of her. But I love this one too. And then there's another cat bag. And then there's chickens. <laughs> On bright yellow. I just thought this was so cute. I don't know if anybody's going to buy them. But I just I had to buy it because it was so cute. There'll be two of those in the shop if you're interested. And then I got another floral one. I love this one too. I think this would be a pretty dress. Ooh, pretty like watercolor floral. You can see the sun shining through there. Probably two of those. And then this one is actually kind of funny. Because when I bought it, it was sideways on the bolt. So when I bought it, it was this way. And I thought it was really cool, like gray stripes, gray and white stripes with like splatters. And then when she rolled it out to cut it, I realized what it was. But it's still pretty and cool. And it's birch trees. <laughs> but it's like a birch tree forest. But I think it's really cool and I love the colors. The gray and white is just real pretty. So there will be two sets of those. That's all the bags that will be up with matching zipper bags. Zipper notion bags. 
hopefully Tuesday. And then I'll have some crab bags in some of those prints. And in some of my past prints that I have scraps of, I will be posting. Okay. So now, on to the next matter at hand, which is the New Year, New You crochet along that I was co-hosting with Mo at Unseen Strands. <laughs> it was supposed to end on April 22nd, I think. And then I had mentioned that all the wedding stuff and all that, that I was po postponing it until today, which is May the 5th. Um, which I will probably close it today, and I'll draw two winners. I want to draw two winners. And I was originally going to plan to give the winners project bags, but... All these ones are destined for the shop, and um, I don't want to sell more. <laughs> After these ones are done, I'm not going to be selling more. So the winners will be getting some Claudia buttons that I have had forever <laughs> to give away, and also some crab bags. I'm going to make some crab bags for the winners, because I already got them cut and ready. I don't know what print they're going to be in. They're going to be some random print. <laughs> I don't know. And maybe a few other knickknacks or some yarn or something. Um, just random stuff. Uh, I, I, I know about as much as you do, I guess. <laughs> uh, I will figure that out. So I will draw the winners, um, probably today, but I won't announce them until later this week sometime, whenever I can get around to filming a video where I am talking about it. Because when I draw the winners, I want to make sure that they followed all the guidelines and stuff, and then I will announce the winners for that. So, yeah. There's a lot of entries. <laughs> um, I don't even know how many. I'll have to look at that later when I go to draw the names. But a lot of it's really awesome stuff. Or like all of it is. Um, there's some stuff on there that's really cool. And you know just. I love the way people pick colors out for stuff. Some some of the colors are just awesome. But yeah. So that will be handled sometime this week. Uh, and I probably won't be hosting any more crochet alongs for a while. And it's just like I won't be doing any crochet swaps. Um, I didn't sign up for. Uh, oh god I forgot her name. Kayla at Llama Mama's. Uh, I didn't sign up for her new swap. That's going to be starting soon. Just because of how busy we are lately. And I just don't really have the time to focus on extra things like that. So I'm not going to be trying to do that <laughs> again for a while. I will be hosting a crochet along of sorts soon. And I'll be announcing that soon. But it's not going to be partnered with anybody. And I don't know the winners if I do winners for it. Because it's more like a charity thing. Uh, but if I do choose winners for it, I will probably... The, the reward will be um, patterns or something easy that I can just do at home on the computer and not have to run to the post office, get a box, and fill it up with stuff, and then go back to the post office and all that kind of stuff. Um, just because I'm super busy. <laughs> um, but yeah. But the, I'll talk about that later because it has to do with wedding stuff that happened, and then it's charity. So yeah, I'll talk about it later. Not a big deal. <laughs> okay. I think that is all of the crafty stuff to talk about. The next thing is just wedding stuff. I don't really have a lot to talk about. I'm not going to sit here and like tell you about everything that day. I just, you know, the wedding was nice. The weather was perfect for it. It had been raining that whole week up to it. And then it was cloudy and perfect for picture taking. <laughs> um, overcast um, during the event. And then right after the wedding it sprinkled just a smidge. And then it went away. So it was a lot of fun. We got married right around 5 o'clock that last Saturday evening the 27th um I was in a dress <laughs> that's one thing everybody you know we had planned it to be super casual uh I was going to be wearing white pants and a white shirt and we already bought it and everything but then um there was this woman in the city next to me she she got dresses donated to her and she would sew angel dresses out of them which were little dresses for babies who had passed away or were born stillborn or something like that um later term miscarriages and stuff like that uh so that the parents could put them in a pretty little dress to bury them in but um and probably take photos too but anyways she started getting a lot of dresses donated to her that were really nice and like never used some of them still had tags on them and everything i guess from canceled weddings or <laughs> sales or something and so she didn't want to cut them up uh she still does make the angel dresses but she uses the more worn dresses for that so the, new, the newer and nicer ones, she loans out to women who can't necessarily afford it or just don't want to spend a lot of money on a dress they're only going to wear once. Um, so she loans them out to people to get married in. And then you can bring them back. Or she said you can actually buy them from her, like cheaper. Uh, or borrow them and bring them back, whichever. So I found her post and it was a week before the wedding. It was 
literally a week before the wedding it was that saturday the saturday before that i don't know what saturday that was but uh, i found her website she just started it too it's called twice blessed i will link it below if you're interested in checking it out it's a facebook page she's a really nice lady we went and met her i contacted her saturday and then that next monday me and my mom and my stepdad and Jesse, but they stay outside. We went to her little building. She has a little building behind her house full of dresses and stuff. She has it made up really nice. And we tried on a couple. And one of them fit me perfectly. Like it was tailored for me. Like it was the right height or length and everything. So, um, and I loved it. And my mom loved it. So, we went ahead and we borrowed that one and a veil. <laughs> which I'm thinking about buying the veil from her. I still have it in the bedroom because I want to keep it. <laughs> but, um... I got to message her actually, but, um, so we borrowed it and, uh, I wanted, I kept it a secret cause I didn't want, um, Devin to know. And the only people I did tell was my sister, my mom, and my stepdad obviously knew and my almost mother-in-law <laughs> because, um, she like point blank asked me and I didn't want to lie to her. <laughs> so she just asked me and then I told her that it was a secret. So she kept it a secret, but, um, yeah. So, uh, the day of the wedding, I know Devin was catching on a little bit and he even told me that he he was like wondering what was going on because he he said that I was like distant to him and I was like oh my god he's got the guy cheating on him or something but um he said he didn't think anything about he just he probably thought that I had cold feet or something but um I took my fake clothes so that he would see me going in there with them and think that I was changing into that but uh yeah, so I changed into the dress and when the song cued, the song that I had playing at my wedding is like a cliche song now. It was a thousand years <laughs> by I think Christina Perry or something like that. But um, I love that song. It's always made me think of me and Devin. So I played that. I walked out too and he was surprised. He said that he would have cried and there's some pictures of him where he looks like he's about to cry. But he said he would have cried if the, the minister, pastor hadn't been talking to him. But he knew it too because my mom told him beforehand and um so he was like joking with Devin up until the point where we I was walking out and then while I was walking out he was joking with him and stuff and uh Devin said if he hadn't been distracted by dealing with him he would have um probably cried and I know he would have because I know him but uh, I cried like a baby coming walking down the aisle that was outside <laughs> um my brother walked me down the aisle because my dad is dead he died of cancer in 2013, but, um, yeah, so he walked me down the aisle. He's been like a dad to me forever, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was, it was perfect. It was wonderful. I put Devin's ring on the wrong finger and had to change it. <laughs> I put it on my left, so it was his right hand, and I had to take it off, put it back on his right finger. <laughs> well, his left, but, you know, you know what I mean, the right side. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we got married, so it was fun. Um, it was outdoor wedding, which is what I really wanted. I didn't want a church wedding. Um, because we're not, we're religious people, like, we have different views on things. That's all I'm going to say about that, because I don't want to start anything. But, um, I decorated it myself, and I thought it looked pretty good. Uh, we, we didn't, we cash flowed it, because we didn't want to go in debt for a wedding, because that's like the stupidest thing anybody could do to start off your marriage in debt. But, <laughs> um, so we, you know, I bought a little here, a little there, building up towards the day, and, um, I'm pretty sure the most expensive thing we bought for the wedding was Devin's ring. His ring actually cost more than mine. His is like a tungsten something manly wing <laughs> ring. And mine's just a little white gold. It's like a 10 karat white gold. It was like 30 bucks. But I wanted a cheap one because one that wouldn't turn my finger green, but one that if I lost it, it was okay because of the whole engagement ring thing that happened to me where the diamond came off and it's gone. And that's like money that's just gone now. So um, I wanted something that you know, even though it would suck if I lost it, because it's the sentimental, it's the actual one we got married with, but it would be easily replaced, um, and not be a hit to our bank account. <laughs> but yeah, and I love how thin this is. I just, I love this ring because it shows that I'm married, but it's not like, poo, I'm married and I got a lot of money, so kill me for my ring. But <laughs> that's one thing I'm always like, I don't want to get robbed for my red ring. But, um, yeah, we had our... It's like a reception, I guess, afterwards. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we had hot dogs and sausages over a fire pit because it's something we do all the time. We had s'mores and we had a cake. My in-laws bought us the cake and it was a really beautiful cake and it had orange flowers on it and an R. And uh, there's a funny clip. I might add it if I can get a video of it. 
um, we're, we're cutting the cake, you know, like everybody does when they worry. And Jesse comes over and he like starts cutting it too. And he, he's licking the icing off and he just wants cake. He doesn't realize what we're doing, but it's funny. We toast it with chocolate milk, which is our thing. We've always toasted, we toast everything with chocolate milk because of an inside joke thing with me and Devin from the year that we first started dating. And, um, so we always use chocolate milk now. And plus we don't drink, well, we rarely drink wine or champagne, but like not enough to have had it at our wedding. Although I do like champagne, but, um, you know, I don't want to spend a lot of money for champagne for a wedding. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. We hung out there forever with our family. I think it was like almost dark when we left. We actually stayed and helped clean up and all that, you know. We didn't have a honeymoon plan because, I mean, we already lived together and they would have to go back to work that next Monday. So we did just go home and, you know, we were home. <laughs> and uh, the next day was Jesse's birthday party. We always have his birthday party the weekend before his birthday because, you know, odds are <laughs> there's five days during the week, two on the weekend. His birthday normally falls during the week. And um, we always try to plan it to when everybody the close family has days off at work or whatever so this this year it was the 28th is a sunday we had it at a park this year because you know he's getting bigger and the cousins are getting bigger so they want to run around and play um and we just grilled again <laughs> we grilled out hot dogs and stuff had cake i made his cake it was a three it was half chocolate half um yellow <laughs> i guess vanilla and I think I did a good job on it. I'm not the best cake decorator, but I love making Devin's and Jesse's cakes handmade. Devin's cakes I usually make from scratch. Um, I made him a German chocolate and a carrot cake. I think I made the carrot cake, carrot cake twice. <laughs> and this year he said he I can make whatever cake I want. He doesn't care. I don't eat cake, so I don't. I usually get beef jerky for my birthday. <laughs> I always get like a bag of beef jerky, which is what I'm going to be doing this coming week. We'll be celebrating my birthday a week after my birthday or the weekend after because you know being so busy these last couple of weeks um so next weekend i don't know if we're gonna go out to eat or what but i'm definitely gonna get me some beef jerky because <laughs> i love beef jerky and i always get it for my birthday anyways uh just part was fun he got some toys that he loved he got this four wheeler ride on toy that's at his grandpa's because he can't ride it here but he can ride it anytime he goes there or if i take him to my mom's i'm gonna start grabbing it and taking it too i was gonna do it this weekend because he's there now but it's raining a lot here, so I didn't even bother. But, yeah, so he had fun. He's three years old now, and he will tell you that when um, you ask him. I'll ask him. I said, Jesse, how old are you? And he'd say, I'm three years old. <laughs> it's so cute how fast he's grown, but it's also terrifying. But, yeah, let's see here. This last week, his, birth his actual birthday was... Wednesday we didn't really do anything I did blow up a bunch of balloons but they're like the four hour balloons it says it on the helium tank but they lasted pretty much all day and by that it was the next night that they were all down and then I popped them and got rid of them while he was napping because he was slowly popping them and then playing with them and I was I'm always afraid he's gonna like choke on something or be like me and I'm allergic to latex and even though the balloons aren't latex anymore the stuff that they put in the balloon the powdery stuff I think it still has latex in it because it still irritates the heck out of me when I'm around them so, um, I threw him all away, <laughs> but, uh, his grandpa and his aunt came and visited him. Now my brother's messaging me. I gotta message him. But, um, they came and visited him. And then later his, his Gammy, which is Devin's stepmom, so my in-law, she came and visited him on her way to work. And yeah, so. I can't think of anything else we've done this week. I've just been busy trying to get the house back to normal. And I've been cleaning a lot, trying to declutter closets and stuff. And I moved this table in here in Jesse's room because he never uses his room for anything. So I am got a lot of toys to go out. I took his big toy box in the living room because that's where he plays. And I brought the table in here so I could sew in here without him coming in here and messing with the sewing machine and all that. And I got a TV. It's right behind y'all. I don't know. I'll show it to you. That's our bedroom TV. Hello. <laughs> I brought it in here so that I could watch hulu or youtube videos or whatever while i'm sewing and yeah i think that's i think that's pretty much caught up <laughs> i'm gonna try to get back into making weekly videos i'm not gonna promise that because life is busy and i know this next few weeks is gonna be busy with me because i got to switch my name legally get my license redo my bank card redo my tax stuff everything that i have to change my name on i gotta do that i gotta get on devin's insurance and then i'm going to i gotta go get it 
we're gonna go to a new doctor. We're wanting to get we'll go to Jesse's doctor. It's a family practice, so we're wanting to all like go there and that be our doctor. And to do that, you know, we me and Devin both have to go get like physicals and all that stuff, which we need anyways, because I haven't had one in forever. <laughs> I don't think I've had a physical since I was pregnant with Jesse. And they give you like that first physical stuff. But um Yeah, so and I'm gonna get glasses soon. I'm supposed to wear glasses. I don't, you know, some of y'all know that, some of y'all don't, <laughs> but when we first moved here two years ago, two and a half years ago, I don't even remember, uh, I had two pairs of glasses and somewhere both of them got lost in the move. They're not at my sister's house where we lived before here and they're not anywhere here. So they somehow got lost in like a donation box or a garbage box or something. They got misplaced. And so I can't see very good far off. Like I can see, you know, fine. I just can't read stuff and when people are like I don't know like 50 feet from me <laughs> I, I can see them looking like their face looking at me but I can't tell if they're actually looking at me like if I'm at a store and I see someone's face pointing at me from far off I can't tell if they're actually looking at me like they're trying to get my attention or if they're just doing you know whatever they're doing so I need my glasses back for that and when I drive at night it's really my eyesight's not that great so I gotta get my glasses back and I was waiting to get married so that I can be on Devin's insurance and use his insurance instead of not having any insurance and having to pay everything. Uh, at least his insurance will help a little bit. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Anyways, I gotta figure out about Jesse. Because right now he's on government insurance or whatever. Cover Kids, I think it's called. <laughs> so I gotta figure out how to cancel that and put him on Devin's. Um, because I don't want to be taking advantage of the government. <laughs> And I don't want to get in trouble for that, obviously. So I gotta figure out how to do that the right way. <laughs> I don't know. It's just adulting stuff I gotta learn how to do because I've never done it before. Never been married. Let me open up my computer. I'll message my brother on here. So I'm trying to think of anything else I need to tell you guys. Uh, I might film a little bit this coming weekend, like a vlog style, if we do do anything for my birthday. Uh, we usually don't go all out for our birthdays, mine and Devin's. You know, we usually will either make a special dinner or go out to eat. And uh, for Devin, I'll make a cake. I'm trying to remember what I made him last year. I don't think I made him a cake last year. I think maybe he didn't ask for one. I have to make him a cake this year because he's 24 right now. So he'll be turning 25. So if you ever watched SpongeBob SquarePants, <laughs> there's a scene on that where SpongeBob and Patrick Star are in driving school or something and they're joking. And um, one of their jokes is stupid, but Devin always says it. And I think SpongeBob asks Patrick, Hey, Patrick, you know what's better than 24? And Patrick's like, I don't know. And then SpongeBob says 25. <laughs> but there's like a picture that I, of them doing that that I want to get printed on one of those edible sheet things to put on his cake. So I'm going to make him some random cake. I don't even know yet. And put that on top of it because um, he's turned 25. He's younger than me. I'll be turning 29 Tuesday. He'll be 25 uh, August. <laughs> his, his August 29th because his birthday is a week after my nephew's. My sister's son turns 8 August 24th for future reference. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm excited about my birthday. This is my brother real quick. I want to come by and pick up something. But <laughs> Devin is gone too. He's not at work. He's at his dad's. They're playing music or something. I don't know. I told him that I was going to film and then so, so he said that he was just going to go do that because we're, you know, I got to get this summer done. And um, I'm taking advantage of time when Jesse's not here. This morning we did get up and we, uh, I made breakfast and made pancakes. <laughs> My brother is a dork. But <laughs> he just said a Grinch joke. We're dorks. We're a family of dorks. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, we went on a hike this morning at a park local-ish to us. It's kind of, it's not, it's in our county, but it's kind of like a little bit of a drive. Um, a really beautiful park. It's got multiple waterfalls. We walked down to the third waterfall, which is the biggest one. If you're interested, it's called Burgess Falls. <laughs> uh, you can look it up. It's really pretty. I, we didn't go down to the bottom falls, though. I just went down... We didn't even go to the Overlook because I've seen it a thousand times. I don't need to see it again. But we, we did walk by the first two, two like little ones. They kind of get bigger the further down the trail you go. But we did a loop because I looked on their map beforehand. I wanted to do at least a mile, and that the loop was a mile and a half. And some of it was very strenuous. <laughs> some of it was just fine, you know, just regular hiking. But some of it was really uphill and a lot of climbing. But I wanted you know to work out, and it worked out. <laughs> 
I have we have been trying to eat better, introduce more healthy foods into the family, <laughs> and drinking more water. I've been doing really good with water and uh, drinking these flavor waters. I know these aren't the best things, but it's better than drinking soda. And also, I've been having Jesse drink more water and more of these flavor thingies because he calls them juice. He likes them. And these are actually healthier than juice, real juice, because real juice is like full of all kinds of sugar and stuff. And um, I don't want him drinking a lot of sodas and I don't want him drinking a lot of teas because I'm worried about his teeth. Uh, right now, his teeth are really healthy and really white and I'm brushing them like crazy and I'm teaching him how to brush them. And he's actually learning really well. He's doing a really good job. But I'm just, I'm really worried. I had teeth trouble as a kid, you know. Not necessarily my mom's fault. It's mostly my fault, you know, because when you get a certain age, you should be able to take care of your own teeth. And I never did that very well. And um, I'm trying harder now as an adult, but I'm actually missing some teeth in the back. I had to get pulled because two of them actually is because of a bad braces. I had braces for a little while while I was younger. And where they had them anchored, the little metal things. Both of those teeth, where those were, rotted out from where those things were connected at. So that was the dentist's fault. <laughs> uh, that's actually a long story, uh, but I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> but those teeth ended up needing to be pulled as an adult. And uh, these teeth are relatively straight other than this one. That's because I had a baby tooth that wouldn't come out and uh, it just grew weird. But it's still looks fine. I'm not worried about it. I'm not vain enough to care about my teeth. And if someone else cares about the way my teeth look, then that's their problem, not mine. But I do want my teeth to be healthy. I don't care if they're white. I'm like, I'll never bleach my teeth. That's just kind of weird. Uh, teeth are naturally a yellow hue anyways, if you want to get, you know, like, particular. Anyways, I want to take care of Jesse because I don't want... I know his baby teeth are going to fall out anyways, and then he'll have real teeth. <laughs> but I don't want him in pain. I don't want him to have cavities and, you know, abscesses and stuff just because I didn't do my job as a parent and take care of his mouth <laughs> total tangent or whatever there but uh i haven't talked to you guys in forever so i, I have a lot to talk about uh this video may be really long <laughs> i know some of y'all will stick around but um i'm trying to think if i'm forgetting anything i know i will remember something as soon as i turn it off so yeah i did flop aveda i was here what's the next um june july august vlogist yeah vlogist maybe i'll try <laughs> And definitely Vlogtober. I love doing Vlogtober and Vlogmas because Halloween and Christmas are the best times of the year. And we always, you know, we go all out for both of those. And I try to find every local event I can for each of those to take full advantage of the season. And I will definitely be doing that. So you can definitely look forward to Vlogtober and Vlogmas. Um, assuming nothing crazy happens. And possibly Vlogist. But, and then just random vlogs. I know I used to do kind of weekend vlogs. Um, I might start that up, especially since it's summer, so we will be doing more, you know, outdoor things. <laughs> and, um, I miss vlogging because I like sharing my private life to an extent with you guys because a lot of you I've gotten close to. So it's, it's like, you know, it's like home videos. I'm showing you guys, my family, home videos, my friends, home videos. So, um, yeah, I'll probably throw in a few pictures and video clips at the end of this if you're interested to stick around probably some wedding stuff and some jesse's birthday stuff and maybe some from the hike today because i did take some video clips today um because they were pretty <laughs> i'm a nature person i gotta i i fully 100 percent believe in not to take anything but pictures when you go to places like that the only exception uh, i'm gonna is rocks <laughs> i won't pick plants because like that saying goes, you know, if you like a flower, you'll pick it. But if you love a flower, you'll let it grow. And that's how I feel about plants. But rocks, I, I'm a rock collector, so I will pick up rocks. And like um, arrowheads, I will take arrowheads. <laughs> but, um, you know, I don't want to mess with the plant life or the animals especially. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't forget what I was saying. I did take some video clips of like the waterfalls. And some of the, just the trails. It was so pretty today. It had just rained. So it was. It just had that feeling in the air. Of you know the white days when it just rains. And it was kind of gloomy. But it's still daylight. Because it was morning. It was like 11 something. And we were about the only people on the trail. We only passed a couple of people. Uh, coming and going. 
and it was just so nice. I just love being outside. I cannot wait till we get a house, which I was hoping would be this year, but it's now it's looking like it's going to be next year, <laughs> but it's looking like it's going to definitely be next year because we've been talking to realtors and stuff and we're just trying to get some more of our finance stuff in order and we want to have more of a savings because, you know, when you move into a house or an apartment, that one month you're going to have two rents because you can have apartment rent and house payment, <laughs> two light bills, two, you know, two of everything plus moving costs. So we got to be really prepared for that moving phase have a lot of money saved up just specifically for moving um because it's going to cost a lot that month <laughs> because i'm not i don't want to like run off and not pay the rent i don't want to you know that's this is wrong to me i have more morals or ethics or whatever than to do that to me that's just wrong but um yeah i think i touched a little bit of everything i'm gonna go because i got to sew it's already 3:20, and i think my brother's coming by and yeah so i'm gonna hop off here i will Totally making noise. I think it's the refrigerator. I will try to get this edited and up tonight. So hopefully you will see it Sunday night. If you see it on Monday, it's because I forgot or I procrastinated too long or was too busy. But I'm going to get sewing and try to sew as many of these bags as I can tonight and get them out of the way. So I will see you guys in another video, hopefully soon. I don't know if I'll do a chat video because I kind of did this one a chat video. Or another crochet or what? what is it? No Kitchen Name episode. <laughs> Or something. I don't know. Vlog. I don't know. You'll see me when you see me, I guess. I'm more active on the Facebook group. It is linked below if you're interested. I've been trying to pick up the activeness of Stitch and Fit, which is a crochet, not a crochet, Facebook group on about, <laughs> it is a, gr a group on Facebook that I opened with Randy. <laughs> It's about fitness for anybody who stitches in it, any type of stitching. And not necessarily just crochet, but knit and loom and cross stitch and sewing, you know, whatever. Just people who have crafts and hobbies that are 99% just sitting around doing it. So, um, I've been posting on there. My sister joined it. Actually, I added her. But she's been posting on there. Randy posts on there. A couple other people post on there. There's like 70 members. But I would like to get that more active because my goal for that um, group is to be a motivational group. Um, you know, I'm not a doctor. I half the time don't know what I'm talking about. But, I'm, you know, the way I see it is if you see more posts about people working out and eating better and making better choices popping up in your feed, you're more likely to do that too. You know, it reminds you, oh, I need to drink water today. That, that person drank a bunch of water. I need to, you know, oh, I, I should probably exercise, you know. That food looks good. It's healthy. I should try that. But, but um, that's my goal for that group is to like be a support and motivational type group for other stitchers who do sit around a lot. You know, like I'm going to be sitting for hours here in a minute crocheting. But this morning I took a one and a half mile hike that was strenuous. So I know I burned a lot of calories and I'm counting my calories and I'm making better choices with what I drink. Because, you know, if you drink sodas a lot or tea with sugar, you're drinking a lot of calories. A lot of people don't even realize how many calories is in drinks like that. And um, that can easily put you over your daily intake. And me personally, I would much rather eat something than drink calories. I would gladly give up soda for an extra piece of chicken or an extra rib <laughs> or a little serving size of potato chips because um, I would much rather eat than drink. <laughs> so... But yeah, so I will link that below too if you're interested to check that out. Um, I have an Instagram that I, I am on Instagram a lot and I like people's posts and I comment on them, but I'm really bad at posting. Um, I might try to juice that back up soon. I don't know, probably not <laughs> to be honest, but I am super active on Facebook. If you want to talk to me more often or if you want to message me or something like that, you can do it on Facebook. I'm on the Facebook group and I have a personal, or uh, yeah, personal page. Then I add people that I know. I try not to add people that I don't know that well. Because I don't know, you know, I can be a crazy person. But um, you can always message me on there. Or whatever. So yeah, I'm going to hop off here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Like this video if you liked it. Share it if you think someone else will. And subscribe if you're not. Bye guys.